to show you how to put together, clean and maintain your trumpet. With trumpet there's not much to it. You've got your main part of the trumpet and your mouthpiece which just goes in the top. When putting your mouthpiece in, don't exert any pressure on the top. Don't put it in with too much force as this can cause it to get stuck. Once it's stuck, you can't pull it out and don't try because you can actually risk pulling out the insides of the trumpet as well. So take it to your nearest music store, More Music, and we'll pull it out for you. The main thing to think about when maintaining your trumpet is valve oiling your valves. This is to lubricate them so they don't get too sticky. When valve oiling your valves, do one valve at a time. So you unscrew the bottom and lift it out. When valve oiling your valves, you'll want to use an old cloth just in case there's any spillage. Then using your valve oil, you want to spread valve oil all around the bottom part of your valve. in the grey areas. When putting your valve back in your trumpet, each valve has a number representing what valve it is. You can see it's number one. That number is actually really important because it shows us which way the valve goes back into our trumpet. When putting the valve back in, you want the number one to be facing you. And it just slides back in. Make sure when you're putting your valve in that you put it in straight, never bent, as this can damage the casing and cause your valve to get stuck. You then screw the bottom bit back on. An important thing to check as well is to make sure that the top button of your valve hasn't accidentally become unscrewed when you've been unscrewing the bottom. A way to check this is if you wiggle it side to side and it's wiggling freely, it's not screwed up properly. So you want to screw it until it locks into place and you'll feel it lock on either side. Then push your valve up and down a few times just to spread that oil evenly through your valve. You then repeat the process with two and three. So you unscrew the bottom of the valve, the second valve, and pull it out. Again, pulling it out straight and spread the valve oil all across the silver part of your valve. Again, each valve has a number on it, so this one's number two. When putting the valve back in, you want to make sure that the number two is facing you and that you pop it in straight and screw the bottom. Like with the first valve, check and make sure that your top button is locked into place. And then you do your third valve. like one and two, spread the oil across the grey part of the valve and then look for your number three. Like one and two, with your third valve you want to make sure that the number three is facing you when you put it in. And you screw the bottom in and check your buttons locked into place. Now you should have nice springy lubricated valves. The other things that can become stuck are your slides, such as your main tuning slide and your fine tuning slide. A way to avoid this is to use slide grease. Slide grease comes in these handy chapstick like tubes or they also come in tubs. When using your slide grease, if you're using the chapstick, smear it on the top of your slide and then rub it around with your finger, spreading the slide grease evenly throughout. Then pop the slide back in. When you're popping the slide back in, again make sure that your slide's going in nice and straight. You can then repeat this process 
with your other sli with your other slides. Again, popping it in as straight as possible. When taking your trumpet apart, all you need to do is take out the mouthpiece. Again, don't exert any excess force. It should just pop straight out. If it doesn't pop straight out, you'll need to take it to more music so it can be professionally pulled out. When cleaning the inside of your trumpet, you give it a bath. When you give it a bath, you use brass soap, some warm water, make sure it's not hot or cold, but warm because if you use hot or cold water, it dramatically changes the temperature of the instrument too quickly and you can damage the instrument. When bathing your instrument, you want to take out all of your slides and your valves and just sit it submersed in the water. You only really need to do this maybe once a month. For polishing your trumpet, you just use a, a silver polishing cloth. Don't use anything like silver polish, Ajax or Windex, just the cloth is sufficient and using any of these other products can actually damage your instrument. So in polishing your instrument, just be really gentle. Give it a nice polish with the polishing cloth. When cleaning the mouthpiece as well, you can use a mouthpiece brush and some warm water and just scrub the inside of the mouthpiece. You can also polish the mouthpiece with the polishing cloth. All of the products seen in this demonstration can be purchased from Mall Music at either our Brookvale store in Ringamall or our Macquarie Shopping Centre store in North Ride. Thanks for watching.